perhaps some of the best intentioned cliche advice which is so misunderstood in the world of running is relax your shoulders. What the heck does it mean? How the heck do we do it? Today, I'm gonna to break down both of those things for you. So if you're a coach who said it as encouragement or if you're an athlete who hears it and don't really know what it means, it's gonna leave you with some practical tools to work on. Before we get into it, I think it's important to recognize in a sport like distance running, we're dealing with efficiency of movement. We want our energy to be distributed as effectively as it possibly can. And if there's tension or if there's wasted movement, a lot of that energy is just being thrown away unnecessarily. So as a start point, I think it's important to recognize this. If you don't believe me, have a look at the best athletes in the world from 100 meters through to the marathon and beyond in both men and women. A lot of the time you'll notice there's almost a transition between how fast they're running and how efficient they're moving. Now, the good news is for you, whether it's natural to them or not, this can be trained, it can be developed. So regardless of how ugly you look when you run right now, it's okay. We can take steps towards improving it. And that's what we're about to do with your shoulders. So first and foremost, who cares if our shoulders are tense? What does it matter? What does it mean? Why is everyone so obsessed with it? Well, to launch off our first point, efficiency of movement is huge. And if there's tension anywhere in the body, but for the purpose of today, the shoulders, then obviously our body is gonna be fighting against itself. It doesn't matter whether it's in sport or whether it's in yoga or whether it's in some other pursuit. There seems to be a correlation between ease of movement and performance. Somehow, for whatever reason, the easier we try, the better we perform, our body responds best when it's malleable, when it's pliable, and when it's not tense. So understanding what it means, relax your shoulders. A lot of the time, tense shoulders uh, demonstrate or show themselves in three different ways. First of all, the shoulders back, the chest out. You've seen people running along like this. The other one is the shoulders elevated. The other one, which is sort of a feed off from these two things, is the, the head forward or the emu head. Now. These three things have similar features that they share with each other, which are really unhelpful to your running performance. First of all, we'll start with the shoulder blades back. If your shoulder blades are back, if they're pinching towards your spine, your chest is poked out, the first thing we notice is not only is it tense, but it's difficult to take a deep breath. Pull your shoulder blades back like that and try and take a deep breath. It's just not natural. You can do it a little bit if you really focus on it, but in the middle of intense sport, that's a super difficult challenge to have. More than that, what it does is limits your body's ability to have a nice natural arm swing. If you're trying to do a nice natural arm swing here with your shoulder blades back, there's no room for your arms to go anywhere. So as a result, your upper body starts splaying all over the place, which just offers an extra challenge for your lower body to try and keep itself on balance while it's trying to run at speed. That's the first thing we need to address when it comes to shoulder tension, is a lot of the time it throws out our breathing and it throws out our rhythm. Two really important factors for improvement in distance running. And that could be thrown over all three of those things. Head forward, shoulders up, shoulder blades back, all has a limitation, all has an impact on our efficiency of movement, on our rhythm and our ability to absorb oxygen. But how do we improve it? How do we fix it? That's what I wanna focus on today. So the next time you hear relax your shoulders, you know what to do. The most important step is to start becoming aware of where you store tension in your body at different times throughout the day. Don't wait until you're in the intense part of a hard workout to try and figure out how to fix it because if you haven't practiced it when you're relaxed, it's so much more difficult to practice it when you're under pressure. So here's what you're gonna do. At certain times throughout your day, I want you to ask yourself these questions. First, am I stressed or am I relaxed? And depending on the answer to that question, I want you to pay attention to where tension is stored in your upper body. Are you a shoulder storer? Are you a back storer? Do you store it through your neck? You'll start to become aware. Now, once you become aware of that, you need to take a practical step in releasing it. Now, the best way to do that is through a breath, a nice deep, and feel that tension dissipate. Because when you're relaxed, when there's no tension in your body, your body's not storing tension anywhere as much as what it is when you're stressed. So develop the ability throughout your day when you're relaxed to notice it and to release it. Because when you do that, you can gradually make that transition towards applying it 
into your running, not just when you're jogging, but when you're in the really hard hit outs of the final stages of a race. The second thing that you can do is you can stand in front of a mirror in your house and just stand there as relaxed as you can possibly be. Get a feel for what it feels like. Then at a 90 degree angle, roughly, it's cliche, but it's cliche for a reason, hold your arms and just practice a nice back swing, a nice arm swing. So you wanna swing from your elbow and you wanna feel that tension stay away. You wanna just keep as relaxed as possible and see what it feels like to have an arm swing that's relaxed like that. You'll notice there's not gonna be a whole heap of upper body rotation. The beauty with that, if you've got a nice relaxed lower arm swing, it means that the uh, momentum can be absorbed through your arms, which can start working in sync with your lower body. And as a result, there's not gonna be so much just wasted energy being thrown around with arms flailing all over the place. If you can practice these things on a regular basis throughout your day, then it's gonna become far more natural at implementing, not just when you're in stress throughout your day, but when you're under stress throughout a workout. Let me know if this was helpful in the comments below. Let me know what else helps you when it comes to relaxing your shoulders. We'll continue the conversation down below. Make sure if you want more from Relax Running, you check us out at relaxrunning.com or over at the Relax Running podcast.